Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of the Two Minute Drill. I am Brendan Quinn here alongside MLI football beat writer Nick Baumgartner. Michigan football coming off a big win over Wisconsin, heading into its first road game of the year at Rutgers through five games with now his most impressive win under his belt. Wilton Spate, how much higher is his ceiling? I think it's higher. I think he's got room to grow, of course, but I also think he's right where he sort of needs to be. I think he's done everything they've asked him to do. He's only turned it over twice, um, 10 touchdowns. I think he can get a lot better still. I think that's what's probably encouraging uh, for Jim Harbaugh. With Grant Newsom now out for the rest of the season, is Juwan Bushel Beatty the answer at left tackle for the long term? Yeah, Michigan wants him to be. I think he's their number one option. He looked like he held his own last week against Wisconsin, but we're gonna have to see. Uh, there's gonna be more pressure on him going forward. Nick, believe it or not, my friend, you've now been on the Michigan football beat for six years mm -hmm. here at M Live. Jordan Lewis's catch versus Wisconsin. Is that the best play you've seen here? Yeah, I think so. I think in degree of difficulty, that was an amazing interception. Uh, focus, concentration, recovery, the whole shot. A fantastic play for Jordan Lewis. Around this time last year, Michigan's defense was on that shutout streak mm -hmm. um, and, and really made itself kind of nationally known. At this point in this season, even though it doesn't have those shutouts, is it further along than it was at this time last year? Yeah, I think so. I think that they're, they're more for real than they were last year at this point. Uh, the defensive line has been dominant. Uh, Jordan Lewis has been Jordan Lewis. Uh, the secondary has been great. And yeah, I think they're further along and they're better, frankly, uh, overall. All right, Nick, word association time. Let's start with Michigan's field goal kicking. Struggling, yeah. Uh, you know, we'll see this week if it's Kenny Allen or uh, the walk-on Ryan Tice, uh, or if it's freshman Quinn Nordine. But uh, right now, that's a big problem and one they've got to address and fix. Michigan's budding rivalry with Rutgers. <laughs> Non-existent. Uh, I don't think it exists. In the hearts and minds of Rutgers fans, maybe. But uh, you know, until this becomes a true every other year, they're beating each other and they're competing with recruits, then I just don't see it. But uh, maybe, I guess, we'll see. Maybe you could get shaken up this weekend. What's maybe. your prediction for the game? Yeah, not going to happen, Fair. I don't think. Uh, I, I don't think Rutgers gets on the scoreboard. Very bad on offense. Michigan's been fantastic on defense. I got Michigan 38-0. I'm, I'm going Michigan 49-3. I think some of the back and forth that happened this summer maybe rears its head in the fourth quarter, and Michi Michigan tacks an extra touchdown to her on for, for good measure. Well, that will do it for this week, but be sure you join us next week as we look back on the first half of the season and ahead to the second half of the season as Michigan enters its bye. As always, thanks for watching.